Okay, so over here I have access to all of my stationery again like I was showing you before. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to open that invitation again and we're going to walk through the different ways that we can customize the stationery. Okay, so now that I have my invitation open, we are going to talk about adding or deleting items. So to delete an item, an item, all I simply need to do is click on it. You can see this little preview of it pops up here on the side and I can just hit delete on my keyboard or I can hit the little garbage can up here. And you saw me hit this undo button if I change my mind. So to delete something, you're simply just gonna click it and either delete on your keyboard or use this little garbage can. Now, if I want to add a new image, I'm gonna click add a new image over here from the right hand side. Now you'll see I can either click here to upload an image of my own from my computer, or I have several images available that go along with this Halloween kit. So I can just click through, pick something that I want to add. So if I wanna click this ghost, I can either double click or just hit save here. And you can see he popped up right here in the middle of my imitation. So I can stretch him out using these four corners. Make sure you use a corner when you're adding a new object and making it bigger or smaller because that way it keeps um, the right dimensions on it and doesn't stretch it at all any funky weird ways. So that's how I delete an item. But if I change my mind and want to delete it again, I'm just going to click it and either hit the garbage can here or delete on my keyboard. So that's how you add or delete an item. Now when it comes to fonts, if you want to edit what is in a text box, you're going to click on the line of text that you're looking for. And then over here on the right hand side is this little preview text box that I can type in and change it to say whatever I need. So you can see I changed the date here and it went on to the second line because I just need to make this a little bit bigger. The text box just wasn't quite wide enough and if that's the case, it's going to pop it to the next line. So I just stretched it out a little bit bigger here. So I changed what it said there. Now, if I want to change the size of it, the size is right here on the right hand side as well. So you can see right now it's 23. Uh, maybe I want to make it 20. So you can see that makes it smaller. Again, I can always hit these undo redo buttons. Um, so I can change the size over here. This is also where I can change the color. There are some preset colors available right here that go along with the color scheme of the kit or you have this nice little color bar where you can select any color of your choosing. You also have this little eyedropper tool and what it will do is let you pick a color from the imitations. You can see this, my mouse cursor now turned into an eyedropper and I can select a color. So that's super handy. So that's changing the size and the color as well as what it says. You can also of course change the font. That's over here in this little drop down box. So I have a whole list of fonts here. It gives me a preview of what they're gonna look like and I can just select one and you can see that it just changes the font for me. So I can use my arrow keys to move the text box over, do whatever I need, change the size. All of that stuff is over here. I can change um, which way I want it aligned, left aligned, center, etc. Um, and then if I want to delete a text box, it's just like deleting anything else. I'm either going to use, I'm going to select it and either use the delete key on my keyboard or hit this little garbage can. And again, I can undo. If I want to add a new text box up here in the right hand corner, it says add text box. So you can see it'll just automatically pop up in the center. I can go over here into this box and type in what I want it to say. I can change the color. I can change the size, I can change the font, all of that fun stuff. So all of this is just over here in this little tools area for you. And again, I can delete it if I don't want it. So that is how you change all of the different text options there. And then we are going to talk about backgrounds. So you can change the background that is on your current design either by selecting it, just clicking here in the design, and again, hitting delete. If it's like a texture of some kind, like these are stripes and a chalkboard, I can just delete. Same way that I will anything else. Sometimes there's kind of multiple layers there to the background, so you can see that that's gone now. And if I want the background 
color to be a different color, I can either, I can click there, I can change the color right here. Again, I have my little design preset colors that are available that kind of match the design already for you. Or I can select from my little color wheel here. So if I want to make it orange, I'm going to select orange. And then I would hit save if I wanted to make it one of these from my background library, these little options that are already here for me, I can just select one and use that. But I am just going to stick to the orange here. So I'm just going to hit save. Oh, but it did the image. I forgot to unclick that. So again, if you don't want it, just click and go to edit background. So I'm going to hit no image. I don't want to use a background image. So I just want the background color. So I'm going to hit save now and you can see that that went away. But if I want to go back to what I originally had, I'm just going to hit the undo button a few times if I want those stripes and chalkboard back. I can change the background artwork if I want. So these stripes, I could change the color. So the way that I'm going to do that, you can see the preview over here. I'm just going to hit change image colors and I could choose to change this orange to a gray or to a white. Again, some of the design colors. I could select anything from the color wheel if I wanted. So that's how you change the background. If there's already an artwork background on here that's either a texture or a design, I'm going to have to delete it and get rid of it first and then go into my edit backgrounds tab. If I don't want one of these images to show up as the background, I need to make sure that it says no image and change the color and then just hit save. So that's how you change the backgrounds. And then the last thing is changing color of artwork. So we kind of already saw a preview of this with the stripes. But if I would like to change a color of some artwork, I just click on the artwork. So let's say that I wanted to change this little bat to be yellow. Um, his little preview pops up over here and I'm just gonna hit change image colors. And the two colors of the bat, of what the colors that are already there in the image are gonna pop up here for me and I can change them. So if I want, you see he has a little light white shadow. So if I wanna change the black part of him to be yellow, then I can just move over here on my color bar, kind of move it around until it's the yellow that I want. I could change the shadow to maybe orange if I wanted, and you can see it's changing here in the preview as well as in the design. So that's all I do. I just click on the artwork, click change image colors, and change them right here by clicking on them. If I don't like it again, I can always use this undo button to take it back to where I was can always move that around. And that's it, super simple. So those are the main editing tools to customize your design. And then again, remember, once you're done and you're all ready to go to print, make sure you hit this save button right here and then go ahead and download. And let's make the magic happen.